Hey everybody, um, it's been a while since I've made a tutorial and posted it on YouTube, so I'm glad to be back at it. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the decorator design pattern and how to implement that in Python. So, you don't want to get confused about the language construct of a decorator that Python has. Um, Python's decorators, as part of the language, start with the at symbol and you see them on properties or class or method decorators so um, how you get getters and setters in Python is using this property decorator so there are those but what we're going to talk about is the decorator design software design pattern where you have an object and you need to add functionality to it um, but you only want to add this functionality at runtime you don't want it um, kind of have this subclass where you pick or you have to you have to create an instance of the subclass populate it you want this decorator to take whatever instance you have wrap it and then move along throughout the system and um, it just functions like it should and a client code doesn't know the difference it doesn't know that this class is wrapped in something else so what we're gonna do is we have a list here and then we have this person object with a name and an age. We just populate that list and uh, print it out using the string method of this person class. So in our terminal, if we run that Python script, we can just see it says Michael is 25 and so on. So what we want to do is we want to add caller to the terminal output. So if someone's under under 20 we want it to just print out normal if they're above 20 to 30 we want it to print out yellow and if they're above 30 we want it to print out red so we want to do all this and we don't want to muck up our original class model because this is what a person is it doesn't need code in their uh, view layer code to make it whatever colors we want so this is a good example for the use of a decorator pattern so what we have to do is we need to start out with a new class and we'll call this person decorator and this will inherit from person okay so now we need a constructor so our init method self and we're gonna take in a person which is the class or instance that we're going to be wrapping okay and we'll create a private variable here and we'll just assign that person to it so self underscore person and we're assigning that instance okay so now we need to make sure because we're not pre-populating our decorator instance here with all all those values of what makes a person um, we need to uh, relay messages for uh, the attributes to this instance. So we'll use the under under get adder method here. Self and it takes a name and we'll marshal this down to our instance. So we'll just return get adder and then self dot underscore person name and without the e so this will take if someone calls name on this person object this will take it and instead of calling name on our person decorator instance it will just uh, relay it down to our instance that we're wrapping so everything works so now we need to add the callers. So we need to override our string method here. And let's get our age. So we can just call it on our instance here. And then we want our caller to be, uh, we'll start out just normal. So if age is above is greater than or equal to 20 then caller equals yellow 
else if age is what do we say greater than equal to 30 we better put an age is less than or equal to 30 we could just rearrange that so we don't have to have that two ands so if age is greater than 30 red if age is greater than 20 and um, yeah color equals yellow and if it's not greater than either of those it will just stay normal okay so now we need to return our new string here so we'll add in our caller then we'll have the actual name or value from our original person so name is whatever and then we need our normal caller again just to terminate it so now we just add caller and then we need to call that string method on our instance to get the actual data and then we need to add in the normal caller again okay so now that we have that what we need to do is wrap these objects so we can do it in here before we start or whatever um, or we could do it in the constructor it really doesn't matter we'll just do it here so person equals and we can just overwrite this value because since our decorator is a subclass um, it will continue to function as it should and we'll just call the constructor and pass that person in okay so now we have this person wrapped and we can save this go to our terminal and run it and you can see we have caller now and really our client code where we added that caller didn't change we have one line here so we can do something like uh, if we pass in taxi in the arguments then we'll add it if we don't have it then we won't so we'll say if system to rv um, taxi in that then we'll add it else it won't so let's go back to our command line we'll run it we don't have it we pack in pass in taxi at runtime we add this decorator and we get our caller so pretty sweet um, we could continue to pass this person object through to other methods through our application it won't matter uh, this decorator just modifies that one method everything else is passed through so that's how you implement the decorator pattern in Python this is the most important part to uh, relay those messages for attributes down to your actual instance that you're wrapping so don't forget this part okay if you have any questions just leave them in the comments and have a nice day